A virus capsid is a container made out of proteins, shown in blue, green, red, to protect its cargo from harsh extracellular environment. The cargo in this virus is RNA, which is represented in thick yellow wires. What you're seeing right here is satellite tobacco mosaic virus, STMV. This small virus is the first complete virus to be simulated by a computer back in 2006 in our group. Since then, we have studied several viruses. They range from small viral components like P10 peptide in hepatitis C, hemagglutinin in influenza A virus, to entire virus capsid like the STMV, rapid hemorrhagic disease virus, HIV, and most recently, the immature form of frost sarcoma virus. Click on the molecules or the links at the description below if you would like to know more about these viruses. In an immature RSV capsid model, it consists of four different regions, the spacer peptide nuclear capsid domain, the C-terminal domain, the N-terminal domain, and the P and small little peptide called P10. Together, they form an incomplete spherical shell. The lack of symmetry of this protein shell is the reason why it was so challenging to obtain a high resolution structure. Now, let's zoom into a small patch of the protein shell. Recent advances in cryo-electron microscopy has produced high resolution tomograms which allows computational scientists like us to construct an all atom model of the immature retroviral lattice. We will present the key structural features of the lattice based on the central hexamer. Once we have constructed our first model, we perform 5 microseconds of replica exchange molecular dynamic simulation to refine the protein-protein interface. Note that how flexible is this 6 helix bundle with respect to the rest of the lattice. This flexibility probably accounts for the lower resolution region observed in cryo-EM experiments. With a refined model, let's look at the top layer of the lattice, which consists of P10 and NTD. P10, highlighted in thick green tube, stabilizes the NTD hexamers by intrahexameric interaction. Let's zoom into a single P10 NTD interaction. We can see that they are stabilized by hydrophobic residues, colored in cyan. Now, let's look at the bottom layer of the lattice, which consists of the C-terminal domain and spacer peptide nucleocapsid domain, SPNC. The SPNC was modeled in the form of a cyclic bundle. Our model shows that an interesting ring of sawbridges was formed by the nucleocapsid domain, and that contributes to the stability of the bundle. The infamous HIV is a close relative to RSV, and HIV is also known to have the space of peptide domain. And this domain has been a hot dr drug target for years, but we still do not have an approved drug that targets the SP domain. And one of the reasons is simply because there was no structure for it. Now, with this RSV model, analogy could be drawn from RSV to HIV, and hopefully that knowledge would help in designing new drugs against AIDS. If you're interested to know more about our work, please check out our latest paper on structure, or you can click on the link below to check it out. Don't forget to like the video if you learned a thing or two about viruses, subscribe to our group channel, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. My name is Bun Chong Goh, and thanks for watching.